How we doing guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is a how to make your own e-juice DIY, particularly using what they're known as as shots. Before I start, I do want to say that none of these products contain nicotine and please please 18 plus only. Thank you. Now to start with once you get shots, all you're going to need is two main ingredients, which is your VG, vegetable glycerin, and your PG, propylene glycol. Both of these you can get in 100ml, 250ml, 500ml, litre, 5 litre, which is the ones I've got. Um, the amount you need will determine on what size shot you get. So if you got a 250ml shot, 100ml VG, it's not going to be enough. So um, you can kind of work it out from there. But when you order your shots, and please, please make sure they're from reput reputable sites. If you want to know some reput reputable sites or places that I use, follow me on Instagram. Drop me a direct message, I'll be more than happy to help. They will basically come like this. So depending on the size of the bottle, this so this is a 250ml shot. Um it'll come with your concentrate at the bottom. Like so. So yeah, depending on the size will determine how much concentrate is in the bottom. Some shots you get, uh, depending on where you get them, will have directions on the side um, for a certain mix. So this one in particular is uh, for a 70-30 um, high VG. So for the purpose of this video, I will just do a, well an example of how I, me personally, the way everyone should do it. But if you want to be exact with the measurements that are from the side then I'd advise you use syringes because they do work in point so this one for example is propylene gly glycol 24.58 mil now I like to do it the easy way my juices have always been fine so for the 24.58 mil I'd get an empty 8 mil juice bottle go to about there so guesstimating around 25 or just fill it up near enough to the top I would then pop that into my bottle so that's then my concentrating PG in the bottle and then all I would do from there for this one is a zero milligram 70 30 mix concentrate PG in there and then just fill it all the way up to the neck to that point there with VG Give it a good shake up, leave it to steep. Hey presto, you got 250ml juice. Relatively cheap way of doing it, easy, no faffing around. And then once you've done that, you can decant it into, well this is a 100ml bottle, but obviously you can go 50ml bottles, or like the other ones, 30ml bottles. Entirely up to you. If you want the mix to be different, if it doesn't say on the side, excuse me, what mix to put it at, then you'll need an e-liquid calculator. Again, if you want to know where you can find one, you can Google it. Um, drop me a message on Instagram, I'd be more than happy to help. But there it is, it's pretty much as simple as that. So just you concentrate, your PG, fill it all the way up, shake it need to steep then you can decant it in terms of steeping um, depending on whether it's a desserty or a fruity juice desserty juices will need steeping a lot longer than fruity ones fruity ones unless they stay on the bottle which most of them do you know, it gives you a steep time fruity ones week to two weeks desserty ones it's four to six weeks some are even longer up to eight weeks so just make sure you've got a supply of e-juice while you've got others steeping. Some you can, some are just shaking vapes, so you can mix them up, boom, and away you go. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much about covered it. 
Um, before I do go, I do want to give a shout out to Broken Inside One Two Three. This video is for you, bud. Uh, go check him out on Instagram. Um, but other than that, I think we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. So, like the video, subscribe, tap the notification bell to know when the next video is coming. And uh, if you wanna wanna leave a comment, leave a comment. Happy days. I don't mind. And um, if anyone hasn't noticed. And there's a little shit down there. So well done if you spied it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, guys.